Well, you mentioned readings during that plug, and yeah. that was a perfect kind of unplanned segue on your part because I want to talk about ratings. Uh, okay. Last week, NXT debuted on USA. They did 1.179 million viewers and a 0 0.43 reading in the 1849 demo. It was good for number four for the night on uh, on cable for USA. When you compare that to the week before, Sean, which would have been the September 11 uh, night of the week, USA didn't even show up until number 41 on yeah. uh, on September 11, and that was for an episode of Suits. And that episode of Suits did 965,000 viewers and a 0 0.15 in the 18 to 49 demo. So uh, you think they're happy with NXT? Yeah, I think they're probably happy with NXT. I put together oh, yeah. I put together this little graphic that I want to show you. All of this comes from Showbuzz Daily because I wanted to do a comparison between NXT last week and and uh, WWE television last week. Uh, Brady put up that little graphic. This is again from Showbuzz Daily. Now this is this is basically how uh, how they they look at the breakdown. The very last column is the viewership. Yes. But as you can see, they always rank it based on the first column. Disregard the uh, the numbers on the far left. I should have gotten rid of that because that that's uh, based on what night. So forget that that column. But they always rank it by the eighteen to forty nine demo, which is the first column in uh, in yellow there. And when you look at this NXT, I mean, obviously the demo rating is lower because the viewership was lower. But when you look at the demos, they're pretty much right in line with uh, with Raw and SmackDown. In terms of men, 18 to 49 is the highest. Um, men and women, 25 to 54, does a pretty good rating. 50 plus, which is obviously always a concern to WWE, does a high rating. Look at the WWE Raw numbers in 50 plus, Sean. Yeah. You know, obviously we always talk about how they're skewing older and how that's kind of an issue when 18 to 49 is your target. But WWE still does a really good number in that. 0.76 is a really solid number. I still wonder how accurate that is because, I mean... <laughs> Older people are less likely to watch via other means. Right, you're right. Like DVR than, than or television. whatever. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, promising numbers, good numbers. I think they're I, pretty I, good numbers. And and I want to talk to you about, and again, I know we still have a week before the wrestling war. What are your predictions for AEW's first show on TNT? And what are your predictions for SmackDown's first show on Fox next week? I think SmackDown will see a big bump. I think we might actually see them hit three million on Friday, with Brock and all that stuff and being on Fox. But that's just a shot in the dark. Uh, it's not it's hardly an educated view. NXT next week, I'm interested. I think that NXT's viewership head to head with AEW will either increase or decrease by ten to fifteen percent. I just don't know which. I don't know how the viewing habits these days. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean that's not my area of expertise anyway. Uh, AEW. I think if they hit one million, uh, they'd be good. I saw somebody saying like their uh, Friday night 10 p.m. A thing did like 400,000. That was just something on Twitter. I don't know if I saw that right. But if that's the case, I would expect them to easily do a million. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, that would be, that'd be really great. I, I agree with you. I think that uh, AEW is going to do, I think, between 700,000 and a million. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw some people, and, and this is one thing I think that we need to kind of, you know, remind people about. I saw some comments on Twitter where people were predicting AEW was going to do 2 million plus. Uh, and I think people, wow. need, I think people need to understand, even though they sold out those, those live events really quickly and everything, the people that, that sold, that bought those tickets and sold out those shows in 30 minutes or whatever it was, those are traveling fans from around the world. Yes. Uh, and people need to understand that. 